All right, people, right after I just released a vlog about the positive moves Global Force Wrestling made today regarding Johnny Mundo and Taya, amongst others, it was just reported that Paige of the uh, famed Paige and Alberto El Patron incident is the one who law enforcement, after investigation, has determined will be charged with battery. Now, there's not a lot of information out on this. I still stand by the fact that this is a very bad relationship. I stood by the fact that Alberto, as the man in this situation, needed to be suspended, and he was. The company took proper action. Will the WWE take proper action now? Now, they have a pretty strict policy on this, so I'm going to assume that they are. But the narrative has changed. I'm curious now. Will we see that double standard? Will we see the contradicting of the fans online? Are they going to... Not, not, I'm not going to be... Let's not be ridiculous. No one's boycotting the WWE over Paige getting charged with battery. But it just it's going to be interesting to see how... Um, now that the narrative has changed, what the social media reaction is going to be. Um, I, I do feel that they are still both guilty in this. And I've beat over the head toxic relationships. This is the one point I really want to make about an unhealthy relationship. Is that the highs are extremely high. The lows are extremely low. And there is no in the middle. There's no in between. And that in between is where two people are rational. Make rational decisions have rational conversations and act like freaking adults. That is the problem with that kind of situation. And it's going to continue to be a problem with these two. Now, for the sake of being a global force wrestling fan, I'm, uh, I'm happy that Alberto was not in fact charged because, you know, we do have to go through about five more weeks of television and, uh, you know, we just don't want to see the product hurt anymore. Does the situation still hurt the, you know, the product and him? Yes, he's not. He's not off the hook. People aren't going to be like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. No one's apologizing to Alberto El Patron anytime soon, I promise. And he still plays a huge role in this. It's just um, I think there's a lesson here that uh, you do wait to see, you know, what the facts are. And the facts will be re re revealed here soon, I'm sure. But, you know, my military job previously was law enforcement. And, you know, I am I understand that side of the house, the investigation side of the house. And so I think sometimes we, we jump the gun on situations. And again, I'm not saying he's in any way, shape, or form innocent in all this. Um, just interesting now that the narrative has changed what the reaction is going to be. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, um, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. This is just a, a story to continue to follow. And, um, it's still a bad situation. I, I'm not, um, you know, changing my mind on this at all. Global force took the correct actions. Let's see what WWE does. And I think it's safe to say we're all going to be locked into this, uh, story for quite some time. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, BQ out.